Hi guys, my name is Peter, also known as Towers FPV. I am a uh, team pilot for quadcopters and so, .nl, and I'm also a team pilot for uh, Epi Quad. Uh, today I would like to introduce to you the new Epi PDB. This is a version 1.2, and uh, it, it's just taken into production and it's available now. Uh, I, would, I would like to go over some facts, show you what it can do, and why I love this. Uh, PDB so much right now. Um, I want to start off with uh, the profile. It's uh, a pretty small design. It's not the smallest smallest of designs, but it's, it's definitely not big. Uh, for comparison, I've got my Epi 210 here with the PDB in there. I hope you can see it. Um, and it allows you to built very clean quadcopters, very clean builds. The Epi PDB weighs in at uh, only 11 grams. To be fair, that's excluding the um, the headers that yet have yet to be installed and the buzzer, so all in all it will be around 15 grams, uh, I estimate. Uh, but still, that's very light for a, a PDB that's so diverse and so um, full of functions that you really would like to have in your quadcopter. It can handle up to six motors. Um, they are arranged on the corners here. So this is motor one, two, three, four, and also five and motor six. On the left side here, you have the feedback connector. You have the feed cam, five volt out the ground, 5 volt VTX and the video. Well, feedback stands for itself. Stands for itself. Um, the voltage cam can be either delivered by uh, the Polulu 12 volt step down that you can install here, or via the jumper pad here. Um, also, you can uh, get the power from your VTX if you got, for example, the uh, immersion RC. VTX, you can feed down the 5 volt it puts out to this 5 volt VTX in, and that will provide the 5 volts out for this port as well. Uh, video signal goes here, um, and this allows for a very easy setup and clean setup to hook up your camera. On the back here, there's a, a LED connector pad, some LED connector pads, so I find these very useful because most of the time when I add my uh, LED strips, I will put them on the back, of course, because people behind you have to see you when you do racing. So it's very convenient for these pads to be on the back side and the off side of uh, this board. So it's easy to connect these uh, LED strips. These are, of course, the addressable LED strips. Here I've got an example of um, my uh, Epi 180X. It's got the... Uh, pre-production the prototype epi pdb in it with the nace rex uh, ref6 um so far i've had no issues whatsoever i really love it um this one i fly with the epi rex it is very easy to install i just took it out actually to get it in, on video but like this you put it in and it's ready to fly with the addition of an antenna of course so it allows for very easy uh, builds, as I've said. Um, also, something to uh, something good to know is that the main body of the 210 and the 180 is exactly the same in size. So the Epi PDB will fit in the 180 as well as in the 210. You can see it with I compared it side by side. These are exactly the same length. If you look at them like this. I also wanted to, to take the time to show you this new Epi Rex. This is an S bus receiver we've built over the last few months. It fits on the board or on the back side here. It's an S bus receiver that works with FR Sky radios, and uh, I really like it. It really fits on the board quite well, it keeps the build very clean, and uh, is a great addition to the whole product line that we've been developing over the last few months. 
It will be available next Monday, the 15th. So be sure to check our website, quadcopterso.nl or epiquad.com. Right, guys, that's it for today. I just wanted to review this board and show it to you. It's uh, available right now at quadcoptersandso.nl for about 21 euros. So go check it out. I'll leave the link in the desc description below. And um, I will catch you in the next video. And uh, talk to you soon.